Alright guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem Game of Thrones 1. Dothraki are planning an attack to usurp King Robert's throne. King Robert learns of this conspiracy from Raven and plans to lock the single door through which the enemy can enter his kingdom. But to lock the door, he needs a key that is an anagram of a palindrome. He starts to go through his box of strings checking to see if they can be rearranged into palindrome. For example, given the string yes, A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, one way it can be rearranged into a palindrome is A, B, C, D, D, C, B, A. From the question, we can able to understand that we have to generate a palindrome from the string yes. So for the palindrome, if we reverse those characters, it should be the same. So for all the characters, we need even number of characters for a unique element and at max we can have one unique element because that can be placed at the middle. So that's the overall logic. Again we can use the dictionary and check whether the condition satisfies. Okay let's see the constraints. Here the string length can go up to 10 to the power of 5. So that's a big string. So if you try to attempt a brute force uh, logic means it will definitely exceed the time limit. So try to optimize the logic. So try to build the solution in linear time in order to avoid that time limit. Okay, let's see an example. Here this is a palindrome because we can rearrange those letters like this B B A A A B. So in A only we have three characters. Two characters can be matched with each other and only one character remains and that one character can be placed at the middle. If we have extra one character means we can't uh, build a palindrome. So at that time we need to return no. Currently it's yes. For the second input, here you can see all the characters are unique. So we have more than one unique character. Obviously the answer will be no. Okay, for the third part, we have the matching characters. CD, CD and E is also matching because it is even number of characters. And F can be placed at the middle. So here you can see F is placed at the middle and all the other characters are placed uh, on each side. That means left and right side. So we need to return yes. Okay, let's solve the problem now. As usual, we need to import a statement from collections import counter to create a dictionary. Now we have to create a dictionary s yes equals counter of yes and initialize a variable called total that means we are going to store the number of unique characters in the total okay let's go for the main logic we need to iterate the characters in the dictionary that will be for key comma value in s dot items so it will give us a key and a value we only need to consider the value. We are going to use the modulo operation here. So total plus equals value modulus 2. Modulus means we are checking that the character has even number of elements. So if it has some extra element means it will be added to the total. Like that it will go through for the entire elements in the string yes. So finally we have to check for the condition if total greater than 1 so this means we have the total number of characters that are more than 1 if we have 1 means we can place it in the middle but if we have more than 1 element means we can't place it in the middle so we will return no else we will return yes Okay, that's the whole logic of the program. We are creating a dictionary and initialize a variable called total to find the unique number of characters and iterating over the dictionary performing the modulo operation in order to find the extra characters and we check for the condition if total is greater than 1 we will return no or else we will return yes. Okay, let's run the code. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. That's it guys, we solved the problem. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button. 
and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos see you guys in the next video